If you intend to watch this movie, do not watch this video. Our main character, Corporal Bauer, is introduced with panic, chaos, tubes, and a face hugging. He's on the ship Elysium headed towards Tannis. Keep in mind, any cool looking ship with an awesome name is always doomed. Lieutenant Peyton is introduced, pretty much lazy and useless, but with a secret, so we'll get back. Dum dum dum. In the meantime, Bauer encounters the hostile but beautiful Nadia, the strong female presence who, of course, is sexy while kicking butt the entire movie. Bauer then encounters angry, mutant, cannibalistic humanoids who have uh, adapted to the ship. After running away like a little girl, he saves Shepard, who then chastises him for being an idiot, and then proceeds to get himself killed again. Then, Bauer's second rescue attempt of Shepard gets him in a pinch, requiring man to save the day, man being the only non-hostile but well-trained person there, and doesn't speak a lick of English. Go figure. Together, the trio set out to save the ship and its uh, sleeping inhabitants against impossible odds. In the meantime, Lieutenant Peyton, who had saved Corporal Gallo, turns out to be Corporal Gallo, a deranged psychotic man who lost it when Earth died and is now out to destroy everyone. <laughs> Uh, Sci-fi movies all seem to have similar formatting. They're crazy and human, uh, mutant humans or alien beings, chaos, face huggers, and a waste hiding area in which our heroes always emerge and conquer the day. And in the end, the thing that tests your morals the most? The cuteness of an alien child, causing compassion and... Uh, death to one of our favorite characters. In the end of the movie uh, was... Well, the movie was alright, but it lacked any unique formatting or storyline. The high budget of $33 million at least provided us with a decently graphic movie, though. Um, thank you for listening to my breakdown of Pandorum, and have a wonderful day.